a historic two days, 11 and 12 July 2019. Hundreds of students, young people, policymakers, sexual rights advocates from Southern Africa are gathered in the Zambian capital of Lusaka. This is the third edition of Southern African Regional Students and Youth Conference on Sexual and Reproductive Health, SASIC. The theme of the conference is Plan, Prioritize, Prevent. This video shows some of the highlights of the historic conference. Welcome you all to Lusaka, your home away from home. As a region, our journey of working, working together in various matters, be it in academic, social economic, health, or indeed in matters of sports, can be traced back to many years ago as a region. Various partnerships across the region have been built in the process. The Southern African Regional Students and Youth Conference on Sexual and Productive Health is a special and unique partnership because it brings all of us together around health matters in general and reproductive health in particular. We need to address the human rights question for minorities. We can pretend to delay it, but at some point, we really need to address it if we are serious about handling sexual reproductive health. But in doing so, we need to be well coordinated in a concerted effort as a united front, while paying attention to local context and localizing our solutions. We need to think global, but act local. We need to make use of our community strengths and indigenous solutions. We need to encourage local social innovations that uniquely correspond and respond to local issues in context-specific ways. While we undertake this mandate, we must bear in mind that social change within social reproductive health is not a linear process. It happens in a very complex multi-capillary and unstructured ways. And that is why each one of you and the organizations you represent and your individual actions are important in this fight. Any SRH impact at the population level will not be as a result of one individual organization of an individual's actions, but of a combination of tiny efforts of all of us here. Let's take actions. There are so many things that are taking place within our region. There are so many initiatives that has been taken, that, that has been initiated. Where are you as a young person? There are initiatives to eliminate gender-based violence in our community, in our society, in our tertiary institutions. Where are you as a young person? There is family planning in 2020 agenda. Where are you as a young person? We do have SDGs amongst us. Where are you as a young person? Ask yourself, are you waiting to be invited? Who is going to invite you? As a young person, you must be very, in, you must be that, that humble. You must be, in, you must take initiatives. Don't just wait and think that doors are going to be open for you. No. Rights comes with responsibility. We must be responsible of the choices that we make in our lives. We are chasing around government officials, policy makers, for them to be responsible and accountable to our public funds. Are we being accountable ourselves as young people? Are you being accountable as a young person yourself? Before you seek accountability from the next person, ask yourself, are you being accountable? The problem is not having sex. Let's face it, you will have it anyways. The problem is how you protect yourself while it's it. And as pleasurable as sex is and can be, protection should be key. So for all you young people, let us not leave our future and our health to chance. Let's take action and make sure we have information the services and the support to keep ourselves healthy. This is your time. Be optimistic. 
courageous, energetic, and vigilant about your bodies, your sexuality, and your health. There is no information. Ask for it. Look for it. Share it. There are no services at your institutions. Demand for them. Speak out. The service is there, but not responding to your specific needs. Speak out. Demand for better and tailored services. But don't just do this for yourself. Do it for others as well. The road may seem long, but a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And what that one step is not about losing hope. It is not about giving up or even about letting others do it. It is about all of us and how we all pull our weight to make the world a better place. I am here now, after so many years, still working to make the world better at a progressive, bold and inspiring organization called HIVOS. At HIVOS, we believe in the unlimited potential of people. We believe in people unlimited. And we therefore believe in young people unlimited. We also believe that if we act together, we can indeed make a change for anything we put our mind to, be it climate change, sexual reproductive health, or even ending hunger and disease. Sweden recognizes key normative guidance target towards improving the health and well-being of young people, such as Zambia's national youth policy, Zambia's na national health strategic plan, Zambia's adolescent health strategy, to name just a few. Ladies and gentlemen, my young people, Allow me to also recognize and commend the efforts that other development partners are making in Southern Region to improve the health and rights of youth in the region. So with all that has been done and continues to be done in partnership with governments, non-governmental organizations, academic institutions, civil society organizations, and with you, our youth, what do we as Sweden hope and expect to see in the next 10 years? Well, Sweden expects to see a Southern African region with enabling legal and policy environment that puts you young people, your needs and your rights at the fore. Recognizing Africa's demographic dividend and that our young people are future leaders, all young people should be able to have an access to good health, to good education, and the power to shape your own lives and to influence over the development of your society. Recognizing that child marriage is a major challenge in this region, Sweden looks forward to an even greater effort being directed towards eliminating this practice. Sweden further sees the Southern African region meeting the Abuja Declaration, with countries allocating at least 15% of your annual budget to improve the health sector. More specifically, strengthened universal health care systems and services that respond to the sexual reproductive health and rights needs of young people, so that the region will no longer speak of young people having unsafe abortions, unwanted pregnancies, high rates of HIV infections, high maternal mortality rates, lack of access to contraceptives, poor menstrual hygiene management, to just name a few. In contributing to meeting this vision, what are we going to do? Well, as Sweden will continue to invest in the Southern African region through the regional strategy on sexual reproductive health and rights for Sub-Saharan Africa region, which has a total support to SRHR valued at 3.2 million SEC, which is about $355 million over a period of 2015 to 2021. Improving health outcomes for Southern Africa indeed uh, needs us all to unite and uh, bring our efforts together. In response to the advocacy work by vibrant networks and organizations such as this one, uh, and also the screaming regional SRHR uh, indicators, the forum adopted a resolution uh, on the role of parliaments in sexual reproductive health and rights. Uh, and that resolution lays an obligation on the standard P of these members uh, to ensure that SRHR is appropriately addressed at both national and regional level. 
so we have been operating under that resolution uh, and implementing a good number of, of, of projects on SRHR. Uh, and as a forum, uh, we are therefore very glad uh, to partner the SASIC and regard it as the best regional platform for adolescent and sexual productive health uh, rights deliberations. Uh, so I've just called you guys the best in the region. Uh, as far as adolescents and young people's SRHR issues are concerned, I think this is the best platform that I've seen, that I've come across over the years. Let us realize that in 15 years to come, guess what? Africa will have the largest population of youth. And it is important that the youth should really take into consideration their sexual right and be informed and oriented positively towards their sexual education. This will allow especially the African continent to avoid new infections and to eradicate HIV and AIDS. At this stage, I would like to urge the youth in the Southern African region to take advantage of this meeting and turn the tide uh, of HIV in the region. Very interesting thing that we have to plan, to prioritize, and also to prevent. So it is indeed my pleasure to be at this conference for the Southern Africa Regional Students on sexual reproductive health and rights, which is really a very important theme that young people should focus on today, isn't it? We do know that if the sexual reproductive health needs of you, the students, are not taken care of, you'll not be able to complete your programs effectively, isn't it? You'll not be able to realize that potential that we want to see from you. And that is why this is a really important um, conference, even from us, from the UN. So what are we doing in terms of trying to support the young people to plan, to prioritize, and also to prevent? So from the UN, uh, in 2013, we supported an initiative with support from Sweden and other UN agencies as well as civil society organizations to affirm a commitment that is referred to as the ESA Ministerial Commitment. This commitment brings together ministries of education, and ministries of health in order to uh, ensure that they are providing comprehensive sexuality education and sexual reproductive health for young people. So even as well in this conference, we also want to ensure that we call for prioritization of key populations among the young people, among the youth constituency, and that we include students like we have in this uh, conference and also special focus on female students, young people with disabilities, and also young people living with HIV. We want to ensure that we don't leave anyone behind, even as we plan, even as we prioritize um, for ensuring that sexual reproductive health and rights uh, services are provided for you young people. Even as we talk about prevention in the conference, we want to ensure that we give special focus to the girl child and call upon all stakeholders to ensure that we join efforts towards preventing early and unintended pregnancies. And we know that if we don't prevent these pregnancies, there are a lot of um, negative consequences that happen. We have young people uh, uh, conducting unsafe abortions, which result in death. We also want to ensure that girls do, don't drop out of school as a result of early and unintended pregnancy. And this will help if we ensure that we have strengthened comprehensive sexuality education programs being implemented in our countries, coupled with access to contraception services for young people, um, both women and men. So even as we are in this conference, this, we don't want to just come up with resolutions, we don't want to come up with recommendations that will just end at this conference, but we want to ensure that we go back and come up with concrete action plans on how we're going to prioritize and prevent um, uh, unnecessary deaths as a result of safe abortions, for example. We want to ensure that as we plan, our governments ensure that there's a budget in that national budget. There's a priority for young people on SRHR issues. Without a plan and without a budget, we can't have effectively implemented programs, isn't it? Banana.